In this video we'll have a look at using clipping masks as a means of editing our images. So I have the cherry image open in Photoshop and I'm going to press W on the keyboard to select the quick selection tool from the toolbox. Um, zooming into the cherries and then using that quick selection tool just to sweep across the cherries to create um, what is really quite a rough selection. Um, if it has gone a little bit wide of the mark then you can hold the option key on a Mac, the alt key on a PC just in order to bring that selection into line and then I'm pressing the shift key down to include the cherries in the foreground of the picture space. Not taking too much uh, time over selecting the cherry stalks, they can be brought in later using um, the layer mask. Once that step's done, um, we're just dragging the background layer over the new layer icon within the layers palette and popping on a new layer mask and what that does that'll mask the cherries so that we can isolate the cherries from the background. Um, next is uh, click a case of clicking on the background layer and choosing a black and white adjustment layer um, and then we can just simply change the background sliders because that is now isolated from the cherries. So we can just work on the background until we're happy with that. Once that's completed, we can just use our clipping mask just to clip that to the layer below. Um, next thing is to add a levels adjustment layer. So we'll add that in next. So clicking on background copy and adding levels. Again, we'll use the clipping mask option and then using the levels adjustment layer, we can just tweak levels. So we're just enhancing the cherries ever so slightly. And next thing is to add a color balance adjustment layer. Um, and that'll just strengthen and enhance the color of the cherries. Another clipping mask because we want all of this to um, work with cherry layer. So we're working on mid-tones. So we'll increase reds, reduce the green, and reduce the yellow. And the clipping mask is added in there. And then that's all there is to it. So that was very rough and ready. If I wish to go back and, and bring in some of the cherry stalks, I can change the focus to the layer mask on that background copy layer. Select a brush and painting with white on the layer mask. So if we zoom in, then we can just bring back some of that detail that was missed on the initial selection. So that's just for demonstration purposes. Any areas that you missed earlier, you can just simply paint in using the layer mask, okay? So it helps if the cherry stalks are included. It just uh, adds a nice touch to that compositing work. And here we have an example of the cherry project worked. So that version slightly neater than the one I've gone over very quickly. But I have spotted a mistake that could have been fixed there. Okay, so I'll just end that recording now. Please get in touch if you need any further help with this project.